after an illustrious NHL career? What has been keeping you busy? Uh, well, I, I didn't realize being a, a father of uh, four young boys is such a big job. <laughs> I think I've got a harder job now than I had before, but it, it's been fun. I've enjoyed uh, going to rinks with them, the soccer fields, uh, and some of their school events, and uh, it's kept me busy. Great. I'm used to have an active role with the dogs. Tell me a little bit more about it. Uh, yeah, it's it's been interesting. Uh, you know, I didn't think a lot about it to, prior to retiring, and Bob asked if I'd be willing to do a few things. And, uh, it was interesting. You know, got to experience a lot of the different parts of it, whether it was uh, scouting, or going to watch some of our prospects, coming here and watching some games, and uh, talking about those type of things. And, uh, you know, it was good. It was a fun experience, and I think probably just continue doing the same thing this year. Right. Um, in the past, you worked with ESPN as an actor. Would you consider that something like that in the future? Does that, does that interest you at all? Uh, you know what, I enjoyed that, but they, they never called back, so maybe I'd, uh, I'll read the writing on the wall there. But uh, you know what, I'm not a real talker, so I don't think I, I'd be a natural for that, but I enjoyed seeing how it works and getting and uh, seeing the scenes uh, you know, behind uh, Sports Center and the production that goes into it. It was a lot of fun. Um, you were kind enough to let Ducks rookie Cam Fowler live with you last year. Um, what did you learn about Cam and his work, work ethic with him living? Uh, well, he's a great kid, and we, we had a lot of fun with him. Uh, my boys loved, uh, you know, having sort of a big brother move into the house for uh, eight months. And uh, one thing I, I guess I learned about maybe myself as well is when I, I thought when I was 18 or 19, I was I was pretty old and mature. But uh, you know, you still realize he's a pretty young guy. And uh, but but it was fun. He was a great kid, very respectful, and uh, you know, he's he's excited to get out on his own now and uh, you know, have his own bachelor pad, I guess. What do you think the future holds for? Uh, well, I mean, obviously he had a great year last year, and, um, you know, that sort of raises the bar, raises the expectations, um, you know, and that can be a challenge. Um, you're not going to sort of fool anybody anymore. Everybody's going to know who he is and what he likes to do when he's on the ice. He's going to get attention now. I mean, he's, you know, he's a, a threat out there when he has the puck. Teams will be keen in to try not to give him much time. So he's going to have to continue to, to make some adjustments and continue his uh, work ethic because it, it doesn't get easier. You think it get e gets easier. Uh, you know, after your first year, but it only gets harder, and uh, you know. But I, I think he's up for it. Uh, so the U of O draft at the same age. What challenges exist in for camp compared to when you were drafted? Yeah, yeah, interesting question. I, I think the game has definitely changed quite a bit. Um, you know, you see younger guys playing a more prominent role in, on their teams than they did when I uh, was drafted. Um, you know, so I, I guess I would say the difference is he's probably just going to have to learn things a little quicker than I did. You know, I had time to sort of not be thrust into the limelight, but it seems, like I said, these young guys now are, are right into it and big parts of their team. So he's just going to have to maybe absorb it a little quicker than I did. Uh, watching him during his rookie season, how do you think he did compared to the other rookies out there? And what will he need to do next year, or actually this year, to take the next step? Uh, you know, for a young defenseman, he was very you know uh, smooth out there in his decision making and, and how he handled the puck. He had a lot of confidence and patience um, and good poise with it, which, which is important as a defenseman not to throw it away and make simple, smart plays. I mean, that will get you a long way in this league as a defenseman is just making the right decisions with the puck that don't lead to turnovers and don't get. Your team into trouble and if you can do that you're you're off to a good start and uh, very creative and real good on the power play. Uh, um, just a few more for you. Yeah. Um, what is the fondest memory for you of your rookie season? Uh, probably, probably line it up for your first game you know that, uh, that was pretty exciting uh, mine was in Madison Square Garden against the New York Rangers and uh, you know, you're lining up against these guys they've been watching on TV for uh, 10 or 15 years and all of a sudden you're out there with them. It's a pretty surreal moment. Butterflies like you can imagine and uh, the excitement to be out there. And um, it, it, it was a memory, obviously. I'm glad I have and we'll, we'll hold on forever. Last year you participated in the USA Hockey Coaching Clinic uh, here at Honda Center. Any interest in a coaching career down the line? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying getting out there with my boys. Uh, you know, I have three of them that are playing hockey and uh, helping coach all their teams. So that keeps me pretty busy, and it, it's fun. The, the young kids, uh, you know, they really enjoy the game. It kind of brings, brings you back to what it was like when you were a kid, uh, you know, playing and having a great time with your buddies. And last question uh, for our youth hockey players out there: What advice do you have for them to take them to the next level? The next level? Well, uh, you know, obviously you have to enjoy it. You know, and uh, that's a big thing. But I, I think. Hard work goes a long way in this game, this sport, as well as being competitive. You know, you have to be willing to sort of um, get in the corner, battle for the puck, you know, get dirty a little bit, uh, maybe take 
a few shots that may be a little painful, but uh, you know that, that's what hockey's about. You have to be willing to get in those battles and try and win them. And uh, you know, those two things are what you're, you're, they're easier to do if you're having fun. You know, if, if you're not having fun, you might not be willing to pay that price. But if you're if you're loving what you're doing, you you, uh, you probably are. So that would be my advice.